G'day, it's Rusty from Rusty's Metal Cut Signs and Designs. And in today's video, we're going to be building a wall plaque to commemorate uh, my friend John's 40th anniversary HSV GTS. And I'll just get John in to tell you a little bit about the vehicle. And it is a limited edition. And um, yeah, what, what the plaque's actually going to mean to him. Just bring John in. John, just tell us a little bit about the car, if you would, please. Yeah, sure. Uh, it was made in 2008. To, as a 40th anniversary um, to commemorate the win by the Monaro GDSs at Bathurst in 1968 when the race was called the Hardy Ferodo 500 and it was the first Holden to win it, the new race that was called that and it's got the LS3 motor in it which I've, oh, which I've done up a little bit but uh, yeah it's, uh, it's pretty much original apart from the motor and the exhaust. So John, it, it is a limited edition. How many cars are actually made of this particular model? Right, HSV made 100 of these, 50 in red and 50 in white. So yeah, there was only 50 red ones ever made. And the good part is the car that won the race, uh, Bruce McPhee's Monaro GDS, the number on the car was 13. And the build number of this car is 13. So it's, it's, it's pretty, a, pretty spectacular. That's a pretty spectacular thing. But I was lucky thing. enough to end up with yeah. that. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a wall plaque, John's uh, man cave. So it's going to have the Holden insignia and it'll have the 40, 40th anniversary GDS emblem. And because it's build number 13, it's, we're going to put the 13 in it as well. And what I'll do now is I'll, I'll show you that file and we'll show you how we're going to cut it. It's going to be made out of aluminium and it's 915 high and it's 320 mil wide. So we'll show you that. We'll be cool. It will be cool. There's the fucking Robin sitting up there. <laughs> now this is John's sign we've loaded into the, the software and I'm just about to start. So you can see here it's it's 915 by 320 and this is we've told the torch where it is in relation to the piece of aluminium on the on the plasma table. And I'll just show you where that is. So here's the, here's the sheet of aluminium. Torch is right up here in that top right hand corner. So that's what's going to start. And it'll track down across the, the size of it being 915 by 320 wide. And we'll just get ourselves ready and hit the start button. Here's my Kurt, just come over here to the start. Well, there's the sign, or the wall plaque, I should call it. It's bigger than the sign. Some of the letters have fallen out, some of the bits haven't. So we'll just lift the whole thing out and uh, we'll have a quick closer look at it. Alright, so there's it straight off the table. I've still got a little fair bit of clean up to do, but just at first glance, I really like the look of that, and I'm sure John will too. Just looking at the back, um, there's a little bit of dross 
build up along here, but you know, just but if you grab hold of it, it it just pulls off. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just I'm just picking this off with my finger. So look at that, that's just fallen off. So that will clean up very quickly, and I'll just yeah see that that whole piece has just come off. That's there's, it's not holding on at all. So that's that's a nice clean cut. So I'm just going to run over with the uh, wire wheel on the grinder, just very very gently, being careful with this aluminium. Of course, you don't want to scratch it. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you the back. I'm actually very very pleased with the the the, uh, the lack of build up. So the the clean up will be quite easy. As you can see now, we've cut the uh, plaque and uh, it represents the Holden in insignia. It has the HSV and the 40th anniversary GDS and of course the build number 13. So how's that, John? Brilliant. Sums it up beautifully, starting with Holden and working your way down. <laughs> Alright, John, what have you got there? Well, this is a, a scale model uh, of the car that won. So this is Bruce McPhee's car, number 13, as we talked about. And of course it was yellow, they didn't make a yellow one of these, only red and white, but what the heck. And you can see it was called Class D then, the open class that, uh, which then became Class C later on. So that's what the car looked like. And it was entered, it wasn't a Holden Dealer uh, team car, it was uh, entered privately by Wyong Motors. Um, and the next two cars that to, to come second and third were the Holden <laughs> team cars. So, uh, yeah, he, he did a great job winning that race. <laughs> and I guess, John, one of those cars these days would be worth a small fortune. I think so. They, they, they sold the car recently, and I think it was a lot of money. And I guess that sits in pride of place in your man cave? Yes, definitely. Well, the plot came out really nicely. I was really pleased with the way it cut. John's really impressed with it, which is which is super important for me. And yeah, I, I'm sure that'll look really nice in his in his man cave, hanging up with his other pieces of memorabilia that he has. So if you like the video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, it'd be great to have you along. The subscribe button will be down here. And if you want to check out some of the other videos, if you want to see how I made the the plasma table, I'll put a link up here to the playlist of videos that show how we made the plasma table. So that's it for this video and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.